Hi, I want to welcome you to this month's Milton House Price Report, December 2011. And uh, this originally was a Hawthorne Village report for the Mattamy area. And we thought, boy, we could do a really good job of actually showcasing the whole market if we expanded the boundaries a bit and did the Milton Price Report. So welcome. My vision is that this video is a lot like me sitting beside you, reading through the report, telling you some stuff that I see on the ground, and, uh, and hopefully it'll give you a sense of where we're at and also where we're going. We did a great video last month about some of the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, some of the information that has come from some of their top analysts, and I took about 18 slides from their presentation and talked about all that stuff. So I'm gonna put a, a link right below this video so you can see last month's video, and I think you'll really look at that and go, man, that's some good information. So anyhow, I'm gonna read through the report with you today for this month, for December 2011. Uh, we cover all the country areas. We also cover the urban inside here. So all these different subdivisions. Uh, our team is there's three licensed agents. There's myself, my wife, and Jennifer. And then we also have our unlicensed assistant, Jenna, who we affectionately call our client care coordinator. And our mission in this whole process is to really keep you safe, to give you some great information. I can't tell you how many people I've met with when I've actually gone through all the different steps all the hidden costs on like a buy sell and some people say wow that's great other people say maybe it's not the right time and I'm, I'm almost even more excited for those people because we really saved them from something that maybe wasn't in their best interest okay so very hard to find a uh, a team and, and a realtor who actually puts your interests ahead of their commission check and I think that our culture our team our values is all geared around really keeping you safe so the report I mean this isn't the whole story I mean there are very specific things that you need to look at when before you list your house and of course there's things that you can do to even improve the condition of your home and I'll talk about that later but this is designed to give you a general idea of where things stand and uh, and you can always go online and actually if you're watching the video you're probably already on the web page but we got another site that you can go to you can check all the links for the solds and, uh, and there's a lot of good information there so this is the graph that we usually lead with is it's our monthly selling price and you can see that there's a hump in the spring you can see that there's another hump in the fall and guess what's going to happen in December by the time we're done in December there's a pretty good chance that the average price is going to go down now the nice thing about I would say probably from early December till about maybe end of February is that there's holes in the market so if you're thinking about listing your home uh, I had a situation a couple years ago where there was nothing for sale between 300 and 320 not a single listing my client, he had to move to Singapore. He said, Chuck, I have two weeks before I have to leave. And I said, okay, well, if you price it at 305, you should be, you know, you'll probably get an offer after a week or two. And what ended up happening, because there was no competition, and this was the second week of December, he ended up selling in multiple offers for 310. We broke the record on his model. And, uh, and I know it's a lot harder to find homes now for 310, but I'm saying that there's still buyers that are sometimes looking. And if you think about it, if a buyer is looking in the middle of December, they are not tire kickers. They are serious about buying a home. And the same thing is that a lot of your competition when you're selling can actually wash away and, and sort of wait for the spring market. And, uh, and you have an opportunity sometimes to do really well in the off seasons. Uh, some of the best sales that we've had over the last 10 years have been in the month of February. It's a great month to sell a home if conditions are right. So anyhow, so we'll give you an idea of competition. We'll give, give you a bit of an idea about historical information. And then you can also look up sale information. But it never replaces having a really good Sherpa help you up the mountain. So that's really how we see our job. So anyhow, the prices can also reflect. The other thing is that this can actually reflect supply and demand, um, but it can also reflect the kinds of homes. So if you think about it, in the spring, there's also some of the larger homes, the family homes that sell in that uh, in that period of time. The, the people who have kids, 
uh, with, again, usually larger homes that sell them and then get ready for the school year. So you do see that the first time buyers, some of the lower prices, there's a more consistent demand and we see some of the larger homes, we start to see that, that school year cycle. So you can see it's very rhythmic, it's very uh, scientific what happens with house prices over the uh, the year. So we've got uh, we've got the different prices and all the different stats for townhomes, semi-detached. Uh, in the month of November, we had 30 sales and 33 listings, so just about like an even. So we've almost every townhome that listed was sold in the month of November. That's not a big surprise. That's what really has fueled this whole process. And we're seeing about a 90% sale to active ratio, about 99% a list on average, and about 19 days in the market. Uh, Semi-detached had far less sales as a percentage, about 65%, but nice low days on the market. And then detached, we can see about 63%. 30 days in the market, and a bit more of a spread on the average percent of lists. So what we're seeing is some of the stuff in the higher price range, there's a lot of pressure on it to come down. So I'm calling it the Milton Accordion effect on prices is that there's a lot of stuff happening in the low range. We're seeing semis now well into the four sometimes, and we're seeing a lot of pressure. Hardly anyone's getting over seven these days, and it's squeezing on both ends. So now we're seeing double garage homes that uh, you know might be ten thousand dollars more than a single car garage with the same size and it's really it's it's a very interesting market I think you could, you've got a couple sales that justify good high asking prices you got a couple that have really sold a bit lower probably because they had to sell and maybe they didn't have the right marketing or the right plan and so people are having to fight against some low numbers especially once they start crossing the six. Condo townhouses, we've got uh, you know we've got a pretty good mix here. September, there was a lot of listings at the end of the month, so there wasn't many sales. But then October, the sales caught up. Um, average days on the market hovers anywhere from eleven to forty-eight days. It really depends on the models and what's coming out and what complex. And then we have the condo apartments too. And in Milton, we really, we only have four main complexes. We've got the Costigan buildings, the Maple Crossing, the two new ones, and then we have the ones over on Millside. And we've got the Green Life ones that are starting to register and take occupancy. So we're going to start to see some of those come out. And uh, I think they're actually going to do really well. Uh, the big thing for condos right now is who's going to be the first to break $400 a square foot. And to give you some context, in Toronto, we're looking about probably $550 a square foot on average. So um, to, to give you a comparison about what you get in Milton compared to other areas. Uh, November 2011, we're looking at a, an overall market average, about 24 days on the market, about 98% of list price. And year to date, we can see that uh, we're a little bit slower in November as a percentage of sales, uh, but still sort of coinciding with very similar numbers. So very stable market in Milton. And the big factor is as you get up in the price range, we're starting to see a little bit tougher to sell. You really need to hold out for the right offer and be patient. And don't expect it to take two weeks. It can take a little bit longer when you're up in the higher price ranges. Some great things people have said about us, so I'd encourage you just to read through this. Um, the people who've actually received the report in the past, the Hawthorne Village report, and uh, have been pleased with what we do. Okay, so the next thing up is what's currently for sale. And so whenever we talk about selling, we talk about two factors. We talk about historical sales. We look at models just like yours that have sold, or if they're not like yours, we have to make some adjustments. And then we also look and say, okay, the fine tune knob about where you should price your home is what competition is uh, is out there at the, at the time when you list your home. And that can be a very transient thing. You could have five new listings that come out the same day you do, and all of a sudden the game kind of changes a bit. So you can have a look through, you can see uh, some of the properties that are listed right now, get a bit of a sense of where your competition is. And again, it requires a pretty detailed analysis to come up with the right list price that's going to get you where you need to be. But uh, anyhow, there's about 10, I think there's even more, I think there's maybe 15 pages of this stuff here. 
to, uh, to look through. And then the last stuff is I just want to let you know that you can get a lot more information on the website that we've listed in the report. And uh, you've got the PDF, you've got the video, and you have a link to sales from the last 90 days, all the different kinds of homes. And the three things you can do next, you can have us over for a room by room review, which is basically about an hour where we go through your home. We say these are the things that are going to multiply your money when you do them, or they're going to make your life significantly easier when you sell. And a lot of times what I do is I, I tell people don't do some of the stuff that you've got planned because it's really not going to help you in any way when it comes time to sell. So putting a, a vision together for each room, that's that. It takes about an hour. We also have a pinpoint price analysis where we go into very specific detail about what your home could sell for. And I'll even guarantee to sell your home at that price in less than 60 days. Otherwise, there's a penalty to my fee because I've always believed that there's some people out there that tell you what you want to hear instead of the truth. And I don't want to do that. I want to feel like we're teammates that were really engaged in the process together. And so that's why I put some skin in the game there too on that. It's so we can be accountable to you and, uh, and, and really be on the same side. The third thing is that we have an email list of about 7,500 people a uh, huge outreach. We have a thing called Milton Daily Homes that we do uh, every week, Monday to Friday. And so our silent market, I may already know the buyer for your house. We, we talk to a lot of buyers. Our team is working with anywhere from 20 to 40 buyers at a time. So there's an opportunity where you might tell us more about your home and we might already know someone or know someone who's going to be coming up in 2012. So that's it. That's a long video for, for this episode, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can call us, you can email us, and all our information's on the site. So have a great day. We'll see you next month.